Capcom says it's considering how to make Mega Man games on a regular basis. The last major entry in the franchise was released in 2018. So I already had my input about it back when I heard about the Capcom survey. And honestly, I'm not really a fan of game surveys to begin with. You know, shout out to Sega for being the start of that. And then Capcom followed up with their survey and then Nintendo followed up with their survey about the Mario RPGs. And now, <clears throat> Now I'm seeing how Capcom is considering how to make games at a regular basis. Alright. So Capcom has claimed that it's looking into creating new Mega Man games more regularly. Speaking during the question and answer portion of its 45th Quarternary General Shareholders Meeting and asked about plans for the franchise, Capcom responded, Mega Man is one of our highly valued IPs and we are considering how to create games for it on an ongoing basis. Capcom recently shared a survey asking which classic Capcom franchise fans would like to do new entries of. Capcom regularly releases these surveys, as, uh, which asks about dormant series like Dino Crisis, which has received majority vote. While a number of retro compilations of older Mega Man titles have been released in recent years, entirely new entries in this series are far and few in between. The releases of Mega Man 9 in 2008, Mega Man 10 in 2010, uh, Mega Man 11 2018 have marked the only major Mega Man games in the past 15 years. <laughs> oh boy. According to Capcom's own internal data, the Mega Man series has sold more than 38 million units over its 36 year history. Um, five games known as, um, oh yeah, right, yeah, for the, yeah, Switch Online service. And... Game was outsourced another the developer called Japan System House. Go design Kenji when he said this was a Game Boy Mega Man game. Okay, so that's just about the Mega Man um, Game Boy games on the uh, online service. So, ooh boy. I have several things to say, but um, this is, again, going to be more than just Mega Man on this front. It's also going to be about Capcom because I gave it some thought about what has been going on with capcom lately and i kind of get the same feeling from them like i get nintendo where both companies are having a hard time getting their franchises off the ground like when it comes to nintendo i'm looking at f-zero star fox and kid icarus and with capcom i'm looking at mega man i'm looking at power stone final fight and just recently Hideki Kamiwa asked Capcom to let him make Okami 2 and Beautiful Joe 3. Creators have the duty to create sequels fans want to see. I still feel like I haven't fulfilled my duty. So then we come back to Platinum Games man himself who likes to block people on Twitter. So fight the reputation this man built with, yeah, Devil May Cry and Bayonetta and then the Wonderful 101. And yeah, he's actually considering going back to um, bring back Beautiful Joe and Okami. Okami have in the wish list. I should make get to that at some point. But Beautiful Joe, I've only heard by name. And I gotta say, I love the theme song for the anime. But um, it's kind of surprising that he's actually considering going back to beautiful joe and okami the story ended midway so leaving it as it is i feel bad creators i think have the duty to create sequels fans are wanting to see although i sound all high and mighty it's been a while since i moved on from okami but i still feel like i haven't fulfilled my duty so capcom please let's do it together <laughs> oh they added their own please oh my god i like that capcom is going to be back uh, though the confident declaration apparently wasn't enough to get Capcom on board. Maybe this time with Kamiya freshly unemployed, there's a chance it'll happen. Though Nakamura now has her own studio where she's heading up horror game, Kamuri. Ooh, okay. So he wants to he wants to come back and, you know, pick up where he left off with these two franchises. So, okay, so there you go. So, here's how I feel about Capcom right now, as of right now. How they're just going about these franchises, right? 
again makes me feel like nintendo because they're having such difficulty getting it off the ground to the point where someone else like a former capcom employee who went and did his own thing who is now unemployed who wants to go back and give these franchises a breath of fresh air and then companies like nintendo or capcom they're just gonna shoot it down because i still remember when people had their pitch for that new f-zero game that we didn't get and star fox armada and nintendo either just said no or didn't green light it and for capcom they completely shot down Mega Man zx3 from into creates and then into creates said you know take it up to capcom and here comes Hideki Kamiwa saying he wants to make Okami 2 and Beautiful Joe 3. Like, he wants to go back. But is Capcom going to give him the green light to do so? Because I, you know, judging by what's going on with Capcom right now, they had, they just released um, Kanitsugami, Path of the Goddess, and then they're about to release that um, Dead Rising Ultimate Remaster. I think that's what they're calling it. Um, they just announced they're working on another Resident Evil game. Oh my fucking eyes and um like after the survey i don't know how they're gonna tackle dino crisis so capcom i say they got their hands pretty full so them saying that they're considering Mega Man games on a regular basis that's quite a bold claim because i can't imagine Mega Man being something like mario where you have all these fresh ideas and then you just um, you know, you continue Mega Man for like another 10 years. Honestly, I think the classic series just needs to wrap up at this point because we're in the X era of the classic series. Like Mega Man 9 introduced robots with expiration dates where they need to be scrapped at a certain day so that way they don't just go ballistic and start shooting up the place, i.e. go Maverick. Then we have Mega Man 10, where it's all about the Robo Enza virus, where robots are going rampant. And it's all well he's doing because he's forcing these robots to submit to his will, and then he'll provide the vaccine. You know, something that happens in Mega Man X5 with the Sigma virus, and then X6 with the um, Zero Nightmare. And now we have Mega Man 11, which is touching on um, Dr. Light's research of robots with independent thought. And then we have Wily with his double gear system. Both of those would later build the foundation to create X and Zero. X is the robot with independent thought, and Zero would be the robot that Wily wanted to make. With the double gear system, any robot could be a hero, said Dr. Wily. So for the classic series moving forward, I would say that it should just go X. Like, have Classic be something similar to X. I wouldn't say it will full on just be X, but really just feel like that you're going down that route because that's what I feel like what's been happening with the Classic series as of late, ever since Mega Man 9. And it's quite odd that they're really saying they're considering it because I, I think at this point, it's going to be more than just a new game. Like, there needs to be a plan to get from point A to, you know, point A to B to C all the way to fucking Z at this point. And that's what I'm seeing here. So, them saying that they want to consider making new games, I hope that there's a plan to move this series forward because at the rate that it's going, I'm just seeing nothing but classic in the future no sign of x to be found and um it, it's kind of heartbreaking when i have to say that i'm not a fan of the classics i've had both mega man and mega man x and i played x more but i can't deny that classic is where it all started and you know that's where it needs to go moving forward but at some point you gotta touch on the other franchises because you have x you have zero zx and then you have legends which I consider like the main big five. But for me, there's like four plot points because Legend is supposed to take place like 6,000 years after ZX. And I find that just hard to believe because I would need to see how that's going to link up because maybe we could have had those answers in ZX3 had they not canceled it. And that's just not the case. 
so now we're just stuck wondering what happens next so never mind a new Mega Man game no how are we gonna push the series moving forward that's what I need to see is how are we gonna push from classic to X then zero then ZX because now that we're considering it there has to be a plan and when I think about all the other games that they released, like Mega Man 11, where they're building up ideas like the double gear system and um, the plot point about what's been going on with um, Thomas and Albert, um, Dr. Light and Dr. Wily, I can only think that, yeah, we're, we're moving on to X. Like, this is it. Like, the classic series, I wouldn't say it's had its last leg, but it, it's going to reach that finish line. Like, that's what's going to happen. Because, you know, X has yet to finish, ZX has yet to finish, Legends has yet to finish. So, like I said, that's a bold claim. So, I mean, I'm still interested to see what happens, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried. Given what Capcom's been doing right now with Pragmata, and now with the new, newly announced Resident Evil game. And also what they're doing with Dead Rising. So, they have a lot on their plate. It may not be much, but I assure you, it is. Pragmata especially, since they have to keep pushing that game back over and over. So, for me personally, like I said, not a fan of the classics, but I can't deny that that's, you know, where it started and what they'll have to do moving forward to get to X. So, they're considering Mega Man games on a daily basis. I might have an answer for that. And is this article right here. Mega Man should follow in Resident Evil's footsteps in one big way. Mega Man needs to go the route of Resident Evil remakes. Titles like Mega Man certainly don't come along every day and it's hard to imagine any new title reaching its iconic status anytime soon. As much as Mario has defined the platforming genre for generations, Mega Man has done as much for action platformers. Despite his rich history and even the name recognition the series still carries, it's hard to call Mega Man relevant in modern gaming. As hard as it may be to get any series to the level of acclaim that Mega Man has, it's nearly as difficult to lose that iconic status. Mega Man has gone through its phases of being considered a dead series, and some even claim it is right now. However, the memories of the series that may hold in their hearts don't wash off easily, and those memories can provide the future of Mega Man's success. Resident Evil Remake perfected a classic. Here we go. Oh my god, this shit just never fucking ends, don't it? Resident Evil has been on the cutting edge of survival horror for quite a long time and at the forefront of Capcom's library for nearly as long. However, the road to Resident Evil's modern status and mass acclaim has been a long and winding one indeed. Most importantly, Resident Evil was once in the rut that Mega Man now resides in and shows the perfect game plan for escaping it. While there have been other efforts before, the more planned still, Resident Evil 4's remake was the title to truly rocket the series into unknown heights. Resident Evil 4 is already considered one of the greatest games of all time, and the fact that the remake was able to live up to the reputation at all is outstand outstanding. I don't know some of you are saying it even surpassed the original. Mega Man remakes could match Resident Evil's revival. Resident Evil's recent remakes have put the series in the spotlight even more than ever before, and the horror franchise isn't showing any signs of stopping. No, 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 I'll clutch my fist, I'll clutch my fist, just, no. Don't punch that wall, keep reading. While Mega Man isn't a more significant drought than Resident Evil ever was, Capcom can still learn a valuable lesson on how to pull off another revival. Success is never found in a vacuum, but Resident Evil has proven a much more cons consistent method than actively trying to capture lighting in a bottle. As much as legacy collections are great, Mega Man needs to take that next step. Mega Man has more than enough iconic games to pull on for remakes. After all, Mega Man is an expensive franchise, expansive, and sized a series such as Mega Man Battle Network or Mega Man X hold as much weight as mainline games. In fact, some characters in Mega Man X have become as iconic as the Blue Bomber himself, with Zero standing beside Devil May Cry as a Virgil in the video game Rebel Hall of Fame. 
If a Mega Man remake was announced tomorrow, it will likely take the world by storm due to all the fond memories associated with the game. More importantly, the series as a whole will return to the front forefront of conversation and pave the way for a new Mega Man games. Remakes are great for online players to relive all memories or play games previously inaccessible to them. However, their most important role will always be creating room for the future, future which Mega Man most certainly deserves. I agree for the most part with this article. But here's the thing. Mega Man did have remakes. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Time for history lesson in case nobody knows. So oh man. So much things so many things to say, man. Alright, so let's get this out the way right now. Classic in X were the only franchises to have a remake of some sort. For Classic, you had Mega Man Powered Up, and for X, you had Maverick Hunter X. Both of these games were on the PlayStation Portable, and both of them were commercial flops. However, this is something that KG and Ifune wanted to do. Again, I'm repeating this from uh, when I was talking about, I talked about this when I was talking about the Capcom survey. Um, Classic had a full set of remakes planned. It would have gone up to 8. For X, it would have gone up to X6. Because KG Nafune, you know, he said himself that he would love to see a Powder 2 after Powder 1 didn't do so well. And the same thing happened with X. X already had Maverick Hunter X2 in the books. It was, you know, all that needed was production. That was it. And when that didn't happen, shot down. And there was a whole plan set for them with a bunch of features such as a revised script for X6, a new dub for X4, which you can listen to, uh, Lucas Gilbertson voice, revoiced um, Zero. Um, the lady that voiced Iris wasn't really that great. I still love Iris's voice in the original X4 dub. Still with the voice to this day. Um... Yeah, it, it, it was all planned out, and when it just didn't come out, um, some of it didn't even make it to the Mega Man X collection on the PlayStation 2 and GameCube, and then dropped completely, not even to be revived on the X Legacy collection. So, with all that in mind, and I'm reading that article saying they should follow Resident Evil is going through, because Resident Evil is the only franchise that Capcom is paying attention to. If it's not adding new characters in Street Fighter 6 or, you know, making a new Monster Hunter or localizing some Ace Attorney game that I never heard of, it's them just remaking Resident Evil games. And it was understandable when they were remaking Resident Evil 2 and 3. Resident Evil 4 just didn't make any sense to me because, again, how do you top Resident Evil 4, like the best Resident Evil game ever made and you know i praised it to some extent i praised remake ashley remake ashley i can look at and just not be disgusted about it like never mind the fact that i'm looking at a girl from resident evil no remake ashley is a beauty to look at and i've heard not so great things about ada's voice and then looked at the gameplay gameplay is a step up like they really improve for in such a capacity so you know, I'll get props for that, but it's like, okay, can we get that in the X series? <laughs> like, oh my god. Every time that I look at Resident Evil, it's the same thing all the time. It's like it's like I just wanna uh, just 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 be like, okay, you're doing this Resident Evil, and you know that's great. And then you're considering more, okay? And so we're remaking Code Veronica X, and then Capcom sent out a DMCA notice. And then um, here comes Resident Evil 5, and IGN was having a field day with that one, saying it's impossible to, to bring it back because you shoot black people. And I'm thinking, okay, and they're in Africa. That's a hot spot, biohazard in Africa. What did you think was going to happen? You thought you were just going to walk through a village and everyone's going to give you consolation baskets, like fruit baskets? No, dude, okay, shit. Black people are infected with this new thing and they're gonna bite your head off. So, yeah. You shoot a lot of black people in Resident Evil 5 because black people are out to kill you. Who are infected. So, tough shit. 
so you know for resident evil yeah it, it kind of makes sense that they're just going down this path of remaking them rather it be um hopefully both veronica x or resident evil zero or um um resident evil outbreak like outbreak is i think is also on the table and you know eventually resident evil 5 maybe resident evil 6 and then you know they put resident evil 7 on mobile like they've been on this ongoing spree of resident evil and then it's like you might want to give it a break like just put it on the shelf for like a year and then just dust it off after that like this ongoing support of resident evil is kind of starting to get irritating and i'm not even trying to sound like a bitch about it but i feel like i have to be now because that's mostly what i'm seeing just resident evil the whole way through sprinkle in some street fighter monster hunter maybe show up pragmata when it's you know ready to go here's the gummy school play the demo really like this Should probably bookmark it you know all that's fine but resident evil i swear to the lord and savior it needs a break man and then here comes capcom saying capcom is concerning more mega man games like I said, there needs to be a plan because it's going to take more than just, you know, a game. Like, there needs to be, like, a full set of games that can move the franchise along. And it can't be just classic either. Like, it needs to be from classic to X to Zero, ZX, Legends, you know, um, Battle Network and Star Force. They have their fans. I'm not going to neglect them. I'm, you know, I'm not. But I'm just saying, because people have been waiting decades for Legends 3. People have waited decades or years for, you know, the next X game. Like, people are waiting for X9. People are waiting for ZX3. People are waiting for Legends 3. People are waiting for all these franchises to get a new game, to see where the story goes, how it wraps up, you know, all of that. You know, you have this franchise going on for more than three years or three years, three decades. And it just goes at a standstill. It just comes and goes. And, you know, Mega Man is one of those passionate projects. Like, it's not even, I wouldn't even classify Mega Man as one of those franchises that Capcom holds at high regard. Not like Resident Evil, because it was just a project that capcom was making as long as they were making other things and then it blew the fuck up on the Nintendo entertainment system with six games and then comes Mega Man 7 which honestly is the best classic game out there like possibly better than 11 and then Mega Man X shows up and then you know that even blew more water out the ocean especially with three games on it and then uh glad to continue with eight on the PlayStation 1 and then um X continued on the PlayStation with X4 and X5, and then, um, you know, Capcom stabbed Keiji from the back with X6. You know, X7 happened, different division in Capcom just didn't know how to make it, and then it was just the worst thing ever that they made. Um, Classic just wasn't doing so hot either with Mega Man and Base. And then after that, just nothing until 2008 with 9, 2010 with 10. And then another standstill once again, and then it picks back up in 2018 with 11. X, all it got was um, X8 in 2003, 4, and then Command Mission after that, and then a remake of the first game because the original plan was to make X9, and Kenji Mifune wanted to rediscover what made class, uh, what made X, you know, what it was. But at the same time, revamping it so that it focuses more on X because he noticed that the story was shifting to zero as it went. And yeah, that was the next step, you know, making it zero. And, you know, for Classic, there was Powered Up, and Powered Up had a lot of features, making your own levels, playing as Roll, playing as Proto Man. Roll, you have to do some stupid password shit. Um, Proto Man, I'm not sure, I thought it was unlockable. But. Uh, Powered Up just had a lot of stuff to do. You didn't play as a robot master just by coming down with the, with the Mega Buster. So, you know, there's that. And then, uh, Mega Hunter Rex, you can play as Vile. You know, if you, if you don't mind listening to his theme song over and over again. There's a mod for that, by the way. Uh, Mega Hunter X had the Day of Sigma. So, it's not like that Mega Man is 
just you know dead or anything it's just i don't think it's held in high regard like these other franchises are like street fighter and resident evil and monster hunter those are the ones that are top billing mega man is kind of just on the side and you know i would say the same for something like power stone or final fight or even you know okami and beautiful joe something that hideki kamiya wants to bring back now so moving forward i think it's just as important as to bring back older franchises that hasn't had a game in like 10 20 maybe 30 years and they're just getting collections like people want new games that's what they want to see like they don't want to see collections just out the wazoo every time no they want to see new games they want to see these franchises moving forward you know not just sit there and then just be fed the same food but with a different flavor like that's not what people want to say they want something new they want something exciting they want to see these franchises come back and uh, yeah you know them considering it is i mean it's it's a bold move but it's gonna have you know careful planning because you know that's that's gonna perk up ears and that's gonna get people excited and you know the worst thing that could possibly happen is that they start disappointing people and you know that's that's bad business that is bad business you know unless you want to go down another route you know like um like i can't really think about it the top of my head but like a franchise that just does so well and then just loses its way and then it's just irrelevant for like 10 20 years and then they pick it back up and then it just like a couple of games here and there and then it just disappears again like that's pretty much Mega Man in a, in a nutshell. It just comes, has some de has some good games, for like ten years, and then it just goes, and then it comes back after ten years with new games, and then it leaves again, comes back with a new game, and then it just leaves again. Like oh my goodness, oh man, like it, it sucks. And yeah, the same thing. I I still think that X is on that same boat if not handled worse with um you know with the lights of x6 and then x7 Batman Hunter x was on the table and after that nothing my like, x hasn't received anything along with um zx almost got something that they not shot it down and then um Z uh legends 3 was almost ready to go there was a demo and everything and then after that nothing so if you know the best i can say is this have a plan set for each series because they have everything they have in their disposal for 11 you have something like the double gear system make classic more like x that's not me saying that class it needs to be x but it needs to be like x similar to it it's still classic but you can definitely see like some x influences in it so that can totally work for classic and then for x um i say just continue with maverick hunter x because a lot of people want x9 and i'm on board but for me personally i don't think that it's ready for an x9 especially what's been going on with the series as of late because the original plan for x was to end it at x5 and that didn't happen and they just capcom just made x6 and then kenji nifune but he was working on zero saw the damage that was being done you know just kept working on the zero series so um i say for both classic and x for classic yeah powered up and then for X, you have Mario Hunter X, which was the original plan. Because um, on the survey, it did say which franchise do you want to see with new technology. And then Classic uh, Mega Man was on the board. Only the first three. Not, you know, one to eight. Because the original plan for Powered Up was one to eight. So I don't know if they want to continue Powered Up or they just want to give Classic a clean slate. And just... Um, do like one two and three maybe four five and six and then seven eight and probably base i don't know if they want to do something like that i really do hope that they do collections and not just this drip feed of just 
okay here's a remake or a remaster 20 40 dollars here it is like 50 dollars like that's the same crap that nintendo's pulling right now with metroid prime uh remastered and the same shit that fun and amco did with pac-man world repack where instead of just handing out a trilogy they instead just give you a game for like 30 to 40 dollars and i'm sitting here thinking just one game that's it like i'm not sounding greedy and if i do then yeah sure okay i'm a greedy nigga i just want shit i would say because now they're just gonna hand out one game and then spend the next five years trying to hand out the next one and then the next one and then the next one so and then on metroid i'm seeing metroid prime remastered then metroid prime 4 beyond and i'm thinking okay they just announced the fourth one what about the second and third and we might get into a pikmin situation where they just give you pikmin 3 deluxe then pikmin 4 and then they just hand out pikmin 1 and 2 it's like okay well just would have preferred a trilogy but okay hey that's all of them you know to prefer a trilogy so and they've done collections before like metroid prime trilogy on the wii so i don't know why they couldn't just do that i like, I don't want to answer to that because I don't want to sit here and just bitch about it be like how come you didn't do a trilogy like that's honest honestly a question that needs to be answered why didn't they do a trilogy like that would have just been more beneficial to get people ready for the fourth game or I don't know if they want to throw in another one like Prime Hunters but you know in Mega Man's case um, I say a collection is better suited because the worst they can do is just like we're talking about how many games in the series like there's nine games if you count base for the originals and then there's nine and ten and then for X you have um, the three games on Super Nintendo the three games on PlayStation 1 the two games on PlayStation 2 followed by Command Mission which is the RPG and then you have Mavra Hunter X, which is on the PSP, which is a remake of uh, uh, Mega Man X1. And yeah, both that and Powered Up just didn't do so well. So now that they're considering many, many games on a regular basis, I say carry out what Keiji Nafune wanted to do to give the franchise some traction. To make collections doing that, or, you know, just give it a clean slate. And then, you know, you can also announce new games along the way because it's got to be just more than just, again, you can't just dish out the same food with different flavor. Like, it has to be something new, exciting that people can actually, you know, get excited about because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are starving for their franchise to come back. Same can be said for Power Stone, Final Fight, and now Beautiful Joe and Okami. And I hope those franchises do come back and I hope to God that this will give Capcom the memo that it's all right if they want to work on stuff like Street Fighter and Resident Evil and even Monster Hunter, but there's got to be a point where you just got to put that on the side and just let it sleep. Like Resident Evil has been on a fucking roll this like last three, maybe five years with Resident Evil 7, Village, Resident Evil 8, and now they just announced a ninth one, which I knew was going to happen. Like, Village is left off on a cliffhanger, so I knew a ninth Resident Evil game was gonna happen. Then we get Resident Evil 7 in Village in third person, and then we get Resident Evil 7 on mobile, or, you know, like, the VR Resident Evils, and then 4 gets a remake, and now they're asking people which one you want to see remade next. It's like, does it ever just get a break? Like, that's the question I would love to give Capcom. Are you considering giving Resident Evil you know a break and part of me is kind of irritated about it but at the same time like i feel like that's a genuine question is capcom willing to just put resident evil on the side for a year or two and then give that attention to other franchises that never that hasn't had a game in like a decade or two decades or three like seriously stop and think about all these franchises that don't have a new game yet or was willing was gonna get a game but then they just shot it down like again now we go back to green lighting projects something that i think capcom was having a hard time doing and same thing with nintendo it's like the nintendo effect people are willing to make 
a new game for a series that hasn't had a new game in a long time and then you just say no like as much people sing their praise about that direct for me personally um you know rumors were spreading around about you know star fox assault coming back or you know gx it's like i don't know why those are rumors when they need to be true the switch doesn't have a star fox game it doesn't have zero doesn't have assault doesn't have adventures I'm not even going to count uh, 64 on the Switch Online server. It's like not even 64 3D ever got ported. And here they are visually enhancing 3DS games, which, okay, yeah, sure. Fine. I mean, it's going to happen at some point. They closed down the eShop and now they have to find a way to get the Wii U and 3DS games on the Switch somehow or the successor. So they don't have a choice. They have to start preserving uh, their games and stop shooting down uh, ROM sites. You know, stop shooting down emulators. Like, start preserving your library so that people don't have to pirate, so that people don't have to emulate, so that people don't have to do any illegal shit just to gain access to your library. That's the problem. And that's kind of the problem with uh, Mega Man here with Powered Up. You can't play Powered Up without emulating it or without finding a hard copy with the PSP. You can't do it you cannot get powered up on your playstation vita it's impossible the only game you can get between powered up is Ma maver hunter x is maver hunter x that's all you can get so what i'm seeing that they're considering it i yes honestly they should that's the first step second step is actually planning ahead and how they're going to go about doing that because it could be like what they did back in the 1980s or 90s where they just had six games on um, the NES and then, you know, the amazing good ones on Super Nintendo. Yeah, do something like that, you know, make some make some remakes, make some new games that people can get excited, you know, blend to both worlds, you know, and then other franchises need that attention too because now that Hideki Kimi was coming back, saying that he wants to work on Okami and Beautiful Joe. That sounds exciting, but only if Capcom says that they're willing to do so, because they can and possibly will just shoot this whole thing down. Just, no, we don't want to work on this. Have another, Resi have, have another Resident Evil remake instead. I'm thinking, okay, now you're just making me lose faith in you again. Like, I, I strongly believe that Capcom really does need to just go back to franchises that hasn't had a new game in a long time that people really want to see and then for franchises like Resident Evil just put it up on the shelf for like a year and see where that goes because they can actually do it they can just put it on the shelf and just not touch it like they don't have to look at Resident Evil and just be at all at how much time and effort they put into it with all these remakes all these new games like the new game again was inevitable Villa shipped up on a cliffhanger so no argument there but at the same time like i feel kind of betwixt about it like i'm not even that upset that they announced it but at the same time i kind of am because i i knew it was gonna happen i just didn't know when and then they just dropped it this year saying we're making a new resident evil game we can't share the details about it, but I hope there's a day when I can. I'm thinking, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to happen, but I, internally, I'm like, God damn it. Like, oh my God, just give it a break. And yeah, like not to sound like a bitch, but honestly, people, guys, <laughs> just give it a break, man. Like, <laughs> oh man, you've done enough. You can always come back to it, but, you know, just leave it up on the shelf for like a year. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to get this out there because I found this intriguing, man. The fact that Capcom is actually thinking about bringing back Mega Man games after everything that's happened with Legends 3, with ZX3, and the Legacy Collections. Now they're considered, like, again, I think that's just it. For me personally i don't know like i would love to hear other inputs about it but if you want my actual finalized opinion about how they should go about 
the Mega Man series like as a whole. Again, I can't really say much for Battle Network or Star Force. I have no experience on that front. I have seen Legends in action through playthroughs. But where I am strongly with this series is X Zero and ZX. And even though I'm not can I don't really consider myself a fan of the classics, I can't deny that you know classics is where everything started. And at some point you have to move on from classic to X and then Zero ZX and then uh, potentially Legend. So for me personally, for classic, go back to power it up or just do a clean slate of remakes. Carry out Kenji Nifune's plan and just go from either one to six, possibly one to eight as originally intended with powered up if they want to do the same treatment with eight and uh with nine ten and base that's fine and also announce a new game in the middle because again people want something new and exciting and also i would love to see where um the classic series can go because the last classic game 11 didn't have the best ending, but a fan game made by Mega Phil X, Mega Man Unlimited, did. I'm not going to spoil it for people who have not played Mega Man Unlimited, but um, uh, Unlimited's ending is far superior than what we got in 11. And uh, Mega Phil X just announced a sequel to that fan game, Mega Man Unlimited 2, which has a new feature called Overdrive. And they want to talk about new ideas i still remember that like capcom they're open to making new Mega Man games they just need new ideas look no further than the the fan games that i've been seeing okay you have unlimited unlimited 2 rock and roll shattered diamond y plus one perfect blue like ideas are out there you can get inspired by fans and then just find a way to make your own idea and then just make that the teleport like the double gear system like the double gear system was perfect built off of that make it like x that's what i say what classic needs to be like again it doesn't have to be x make it like x and speaking of x uh maverick hunter x originally was supposed to go up from one um to six x1 to x6 and as much as i know people are gonna disagree with this i want to see a second shot at x7 because even though x7 was poorly received and the usage of 3d was not right because it did say they were focusing on getting 3d right i would be more interested or intrigued about what x can do and 3d and i've seen that before in a fan game called Mega Man x training mission where we actually see what um x plays like in a 3d environment and then there's also some other games out there like proto droid delta and in my experience i feel like what Mega Man x7 could be right now and i, and I brought this up before what Mega Man x7 could be like right now is like ratchet and clank specifically Ratchet and Clank all for one. And for those that have not played that or seen that, I highly recommend you check it out. It is a four player Ratchet and Clank game that I think handles like, like a bird's eye view transition uh, beautifully. And that to me is what Mega Man X7 could be or what it should be. Like either Ratchet and Clank all for one or, you know, um, Super Mario 3D World if x7 was like that i would have no doubt that that would have been you know not the best x game but it would have been something that people could enjoy and then you have x8 which is two by uh two by five um i would say loosen up on the gimmicks because that's kind of what um what x8 was built off of that and you know all the hazards and whatnot but X8, I don't really think is a bad game, but it was, I guess, underwhelming for most people. And then you have Command Mission, which is an RPG, and then, yeah, Maverick Hunter X. So, I would be on board of an X9, but only if the X series was ready for it. Because as it stands, 
given the quality of the X series, I honestly don't think so. Especially when all the scrap features like the rescript for X6, the redub for X4, all of that, like even the new music that um, X2 was going to have that was dropped for the X collection on PS2 and GameCube, like even that didn't make it out. So there's so much that X can do with the current games and something that X can do with a new game that can give it some traction and you know the zero series could benefit from that too not a zero five because the story is finished but if zero can get that same treatment throwing in the audio dramas throwing in the um three master soundtrack that would be perfect that would be my dream like zero collection like have them look hey have them look like with the maverick hunter x look you're throwing the audio dramas, you're throwing the remaster soundtrack, you fix the ranking system, you fix how cyber elves are, you know, greedy bastards and that. That's fine. And then you have ZX, you know, same treatment. Maybe doing some new voice acting and then the third game because Into Creates wanted to work on it. Like, no disrespect to Into Creates, they've done a magnificent job with the Mega Man series, with 9 and 10, with Zero, with ZX, you know, working on their own things. But as it stands right now, um, I think what Mega Man needs more than anything is just like a refresher at this point because you have Powered Up, that got dropped. Marvel Hunter X, that got dropped. And then for Legends, you have Legends 3, that got dropped. People actually want to see like a Legends Legacy Collection with 1 and 2 and maybe Tron Bond. I don't know. If many people know that Tron Bond is a prequel to one, um, I just say, yeah, you can do that. You know, I would say don't make it look like a PS1 game because we should be beyond that point. But, you know, if that's the case, sure. Because they can always do like the Halo thing where you hit a button and it looks like a PS1 game. Like new graphics, old graphics, new graphics, old graphics. And there is a fan made. Mega Man Legends um, fan game like remake out there. I've seen it. It looks phenomenal, you know, given the development they have right now. So I feel like that I will agree that Mega Man does need the Resident Evil remake treatment. And it did get the remake treatment. It just didn't follow up with it due to all these commercial failures. So now that we're at this state that they're considering more and more of these games, you know, carry out what Genji Nafune wanted to do, or just do something entirely different with that same concept while introducing new games as well. Because when you have all these remakes and then you get new games added into the mix, that's to me is the exciting part is the fact that you're addressing both fronts where you're introducing the new stuff and then you're just making it look new or the old stuff making it look new. And then you throw in new stuff as well that hasn't been done before. So to that end, that is going to spark some excitement for people that wanted to see this series come back and be consistent with it. That's the other issue because they have a lot in their plate as it is. Is Mega Man really something that they want to consider just being consistent? You know, um, alongside Power Stone, Final Fight, Beautiful Joe, Okami. Because to me, sacrifices have to be made. So once Resident Evil has this time in the spotlight, along with Street Fighter and Monster Hunter, they're going to have to be put back on the shelf. And another problem about the other franchises, they need to sell. Okay, just because we want these franchises back, and you know, we really, really want these franchises back. They have to be winners on their own front. They can't just be, we want these franchises back. Games come out. Games are great, but they sell like crap. So, you know, it needs to be supportive on both fronts. We want these franchises to come back. But... They also need to be um, worth the damn, financial-wise, because when you have a really awesome game that doesn't sell you can forget about sequels you can forget about remakes or remasters 
it's going to collect dust for another 10 years. And then we're back right back to square one. They're picking up all these other franchises that have so much that has so much spotlight time getting the spotlight again. That's the issue. So never mind the fact that we want them back. And trust me, we want them back. How is that going to support the people making it? So that's really something to consider when moving forward with this. Like I said, they're considering it as a bold claim. I like it. They just got to figure out how to carry that out. And I feel like that's going to be a challenge that's worth tackling. So I'll give Capcom credit where it's due. If they want to bring back Mega Man, I say just do what Keiji Inafune wanted to do. Either go full frontal assault with it or just carry that same philosophy and just do something different with it. If they want to do powered up or not, that's up to them. Hopefully they're throwing some new games in the long run. And this applies to Classic X, you know, even Zero Two, like I said before. And ZX with that third game that got canceled. And then Legends. Hopefully it gets some sort of remake of its own because it can't just look like a PS1 game forever. But I won't deny that it has the charm because of what happened on PS1. And also you got Battle Network and Star Force, which I don't mean to exclude those. I just don't have any strong attachment to those. I never actually played them before, but I know of them. And then you have other franchises that need the same amount of attention as well. Rather, again, broken record, Power Stone, Final Fight, Okami, Beautiful Joe. Or, you know, maybe something else like Oni Musha, maybe Rival School, I think that's another one. And then, you know, Dino Crisis, which a lot of people want to see. And it is a bold claim for them to say that. So let's see what they do. But at the same time, it's going to come at a cost. And I feel like that putting Resident Evil up on the shelf is a worthy sacrifice. It is a franchise that I believe has been done so much and it has supported Capcom very well, but at the same time, it's time to just put it on the shelf and let other franchises have a crack at it. It's way overdue, way overdue. Like it's been decades for these franchises and it, it just blows my mind that, you know, we're, we're in the year 2024 and none of these franchises have made any sort of breakthrough with a new game. And yet, franchises like Resident Evil get to hit the continue button. So, let's see what Capcom does. I'm looking forward to Pragmata. I'm liking Kanitsugami. Um, I don't know much about this Resident Evil game other than what they've said about it. So, I'll be looking forward to Pat stares at, you know, what he has to say about it. Because, you know, out of all the people on the internet, I can rely on him. He's the expert when it comes to Resident Evil. And um, I look forward to how Capcom is going to consider making Mega Man games in the future. I've already said my piece about it. I would like to know about other people, how they feel about this. Because Mega Man is a very, very special franchise. Like, I could put on the same level as Mario or maybe like Crash Bandicoot, but I don't know if I would put it way up there. But Mega Man is a Mega Man is a very lovable franchise. It is loved by many people, many people, and they really want to see this franchise come back. And seeing this with Capcom, honestly, it makes me raise an eyebrow. So, all right, Capcom. Ball is in your court. How do you want to play this?